In this advanced exercise, I'm going to show you how to import PowerPoint slides into ProPresenter. But before I do that, I'd like to show you a three slide presentation and how it looks in PowerPoint. I will click on the from beginning and we'll see how this actually plays out because two of the three slides are animated. Slide one comes in and then followed by the picture. Then first bullet and second bullet. Then slide two comes in followed by text and then the picture. And then slide three comes in all at once. The PowerPoint presentation you just saw can be imported into ProPresenter four different ways. Each way has some strengths and some weaknesses. We'll show you all about that as we import the same presentation each of the four ways. To import PowerPoint into ProPresenter, you click on the File menu at the top and choose Import. Instead of choosing Import File, move down to the third item, Import PowerPoint, and click on it. Then it asks me for the particular file. So I will go and look at the file, the one we just used, click on it, and click on Open. And now I get my four different ways. We'll start with the top bullet, which says Import Native PowerPoint Slides, All Layers, and Animations. So click on OK. And it pulls it in, all three slides, and it gives it a name and calls it PowerPoint. I'm going to rename this by right-clicking on it and click on Rename, and we will call this PowerPoint with animations. So this is option number one. So now let's see what happens when we click on option number one. I'll click on the first slide, and I see the finished product, not the animation as it takes place on my preview screen. But if you notice very carefully, it's moving from one slide to the other all on its own. Because I told PowerPoint to animate using the timer. And when I look at each of these presentations, it looks just like it did inside of PowerPoint. The slide one comes in first on my display screen. I'll go back and click on that again. And then the church comes in and then my two bullets. On the second slide, slide two comes in first, followed by the picture of the young woman, followed by the words photography session. And on slide three, since there are no animations, it all comes in at once. You see this on the display screen, but you do not see it on your preview screen. Here is the gotcha. Though it works and it looks to the audience just like it did before, it only works this way if you have your timing for your animation set to your clock. In other words, so many seconds. Because there's no way I can click on anything here and advance an animation within a slide using the mouse. I can do that if I take the mouse move it way over to the presentation screen and click there. So if you're going to use manual advance of animations on a slide, you have to move your mouse onto the display screen. If you're unwilling to do that, you have to use timing or another method. So that's the strength and weakness of this first import. Now let's look at the second way in which we can import PowerPoint. This is probably the most common. I'll click on File. We'll do Import again. We'll do Import PowerPoint. I'll pick the same file over here. And we'll open it. And I will say All Slides as JPEG Images and click on OK. And now they're all imported. And I have another name. I'm going to right click on it and we'll rename this. We'll call this 
PowerPoint as JPEG so I can see it in my library. So if I click, I'm going to clear my preview window, click on slide one, and it looks the same to me like it did before. And then I can click on slide two, and click on slide three. Now when I actually am seeing this on my display screen, what I see is no animation. It stripped all the animation out of it. When you do it this way, it actually transforms each of these slides into basically a, um, a, a single graphic. And if I were try to, to edit it, I can see that. So I'll right click on the slide and click on edit. And when I click on the slide, I see the four handles at the side of the screen, which tells me all of this is one big picture. I can't change anything on the slide. Uh, I can't remove anything. I could layer something on top of it if I wanted to. Uh, but basically, it is a single picture. It's a very simple way to bring in simple slides in ProPresenter. I'll close my editor. But if you have a slide that has no animation, where everything is, is there at once the way you like it, it's a very easy way to go ahead and sim simply import PowerPoint as JPEGs, or I would call them single pictures. So that's option number two. It's not very flexible, but it's pretty efficient if your slides do not require any kind of animation. Let me show you option number three now. We'll click on File again. We'll do Import. Move down to PowerPoint. We'll pick our same presentation. And I'll open it. And now we'll use option three, import text and graphic objects as ProPresenter slide elements. I'm going to click on the OK button. And it imported again. It called it PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to rename this so I don't forget. We'll call this PowerPoint. As elements text and graphics. There we go. Now, when I look at the slides, they look differently. What happened? Well, we're going to clear our preview window from the last time. When I click on slide one, it all comes in at once. It all goes out together, but it stripped the background from the slide. So when you use this option, what it does, it goes into your uh, PowerPoint slide and it says where are the graphics, where are the images, that's all I'm concerned about. Now the nice thing about this is you can actually go ahead and rebuild animation. I'm going to right click on the slide and click on edit and here if I click here I see I have a separate box controlling slide one, a separate box controlling my first bullet point, a second another box controlling this one, another one controlling the image. So as we show you in other lessons, in order to animate, I'm going to take this image here and I'll click on my build in and <clears throat> I will pick a build, let's say dissolve, and I'll do done. And I'll click on my image element, I will have it on click. So now the church will come in. I've restored animation to that. Let's take this one here and build this in too. Let's uh, flip that in. Click on done. And it's with previous. Let me do an on click. And we'll do the third one here. And we'll build it in again. We'll do a flip. And we'll flip it in. Uh, I'll do on click, so I should click it three times. Now I have changed the animation of this. I'll close my editor and notice I have the dots here about clicking. And so when, my, when I restart the slide, I'll clear the window and I'll click once and my word slide one comes in. I'll click again and my picture popped up. I'll click again. This is a church popped up, and I'll click again, and in the woods popped up. 
So now I've restored animation through the tools of slide design in ProPresenter. I could go ahead again and find a different background to use as well. But this is kind of a combination way. So if you have animation that you want to pull in, but control through ProPresenter any way you desire, this is a, an efficient way to do it. Then again, slide two I haven't touched, so that all comes in at once. And slide three, it all comes in at once as well. But this gives you the best option for taking something in ProPresenter and replicating those controls, I mean from PowerPoint, and replicating those controls inside of your ProPresenter program. Let me give you uh, the next option. I'll click on File, Import, Import PowerPoint. have to remember to do that. And then we'll click on our same presentation again and open it. And now we'll do the last one, import text objects as ProPresenter slide elements. I'll click on OK. And I won't go ahead and rename it like I did the other ones. But you notice what happened. I lost my graphics. So if I click on slide one, I get all the text that appears at once. Slide two, the same. And slide three, the same. So it strips my graphics, it strips my background, it strips my animation. But if all I'm concerned about is the content, I can go ahead and use this format. Now again, I can right click on it, I can edit the slide, I could add a graphic if I wanted to, we have lessons on that. I could go ahead and um, um, put animation, we'll just do cover here. And we'll do it on an, an on click. And so I'll save slide number three with that. So when I clear my animation, if I go to slide one, slide one, slide two, and I click again, and then I get the photography session language, and then slide three. So these are the options that you have when you import PowerPoint. Depending on the PowerPoint presentation you have to work with, you pick the one that works best for you in your particular circumstance. We hope you see the plus and minuses. Uh, it's great that you can use PowerPoint within ProPresenter, but be aware of how your decision will affect what you can do with your presentation. We hope you found this tutorial helpful as you learn more about ProPresenter and how to import PowerPoint slides in different ways into your presentation. If you found this useful, we'd like to ask you to like us and to subscribe to the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.